this after that will move to uh, subcontracting one so as i said that vendor consignment is the process uh, is a functionality where vendor will keep his material at your workplace and he will charge you according to your issuance whenever you withdraw material vendor will raise one invoice against your withdrawal for payment okay the benefit of vendor consignment is that first of all your inventory carrying cost will be reduced because though material will be available at your place but the liability of material will be with your vendor only you are not liable for material cost secondly vendor consignment help us in our cash flow rotations because suppose in case of a regular inventory whenever we purchase material we purchase material from market we keep material at our, at our store okay to make a easy flow of material in our organization so <clears throat> it blocks our money okay when vendor consignment you can simply manage your cash because you need to pay according to withdrawal okay so for that first thing is that first master is purchase info record in purchase info record Okay. purchase info record stores some basic detail required for procurement and first thing is that purchase info record is we can say that it is a relationship between your material and vendor so let's say material is vendor is this material is this now whenever we talk about purchasing then purchase acquisition uh, purchasing organization comes in picture so this is my purchasing organization then next is my plant now info record has four categories standard subcontracting pipeline and consignment the standard is commonly used during the standard procurement while subcontracting is applicable for your subcontracting procurement and pipeline pipeline is a pipeline is a kind of procurement where we can say a pipeline material is a material which which is always available to us like electricity water whenever and the con like the receipt of that material is always be equal to consumption okay and last one is consignment so i select the consignment now i'm pressing enter your system will automatically copy some default value from your material either material master or vendor master now what we need to enter here first thing we need to enter here a net price here the price of our our product then here in conditions tab suppose if you want to put some kind of restriction on this price in terms of validity then we can use this functionality here we can create a multiple validity period okay so that suppose uh, for the initial 3 month of a year Uh, your price will be 10 euros after for second quarter okay you said for second quarter it will be 12 euros for third quarter it will be 15 euros like this so you can assign here a price according to validity so this one is deleted this is my because see this is my deletion indicator deletion indicator is activated here this is my 10 euro is my price for this consignment now now comes my purchase order creation see vendor consignment is a special procurement but definitely whenever we procure anything whether it is a regular procurement or special procurement is it must be routed through purchase order Okay, so here, what is the difference between regular procurement and special procurement? The differentiation is done on basis of this item category. Okay, see, for regular procurement, it is it is blank. It means it's a standard one. While for consignment, say it is K. 
Okay, and my material code is 8032. I'm putting quantity 10 numbers. My plant will be 7200. And I'll say my store location will be SP01 or RM01. Now, they're asking me to enter purchase organization, purchasing group, and a vendor. Okay, this is my purchase order. This is the number of my purchase order. Now, what is the next step? See, here, my purchase order won't have any price. It, that uh, My purchase order will have a net price as zero. Why? Because I, I already defined my, my prices in purchase info record. So, whenever system perform any transaction in terms of a GRN or goods issue system will refer purchase info record for pricing okay so that's why vendor consignment POs will have a zero price or so we can say it will be without price now we are going to take receipt of same in transaction MIGO Let us correct this one first date. We are posting all things in back date. Okay. Then press item okay. For regular procurement, whenever we take goods receipt, system perform a movement type 101. If you remember, I told you about the movement type. Movement type is a key which I did, which tell us about the type of movement. Okay, see, here 101 will be a common for all type of receipt. But this vendor consignment is a special procurement. So that here is one special indicator. That indicator is called K, special stock indicator because Vendor, can, vendor managed inventory is a special stock in nature. So, if you want to know the list of receipt against vendor consignment, then we must search by using movement type 101 and special stock indicator K. Okay. Now, I'm going to post it. I posted it. So, and let's see our stock position so we check stock overview by transaction mmb here is my material but this material is still under quality inspection okay so what i'll do i'll clear quality inspection or we can say i'll transfer this material with the help of qa32 transaction code here simply remove this lot created date if, if you know the material number then you can enter your material number but this is test server when we have a limited material so i'm not going to enter material number here i'll say select all inspection lot irrespective of its, its status i guess this will be our because this is the last one Okay, so now I'm going to transfer this material from quality inspection to unrestricted use here. If you want to change date of posting, you can change here and simply save it. Your system will perform one background action 
and will transfer material from quality inspection to unrestricted stock. Let's see what is what is changes, what is what things are going to change in our system. So see material has been transferred from quality inspection to unrestricted. Now it means that this material is now available in our company. Now anybody can want to withdraw this material. So he can withdraw the material by giving a normal issue slip or what we call a reservation to your store team. Okay. Till now, this material cost is not included in our books of account or in our financial ledger. Still now, this material is a liability of your vendor. Though it is available in your, it is visible in your system. So let's say, uh, let's assume that the uh, plant guy has given a reservation slip issue voucher to store guy and after that store guy will post this material to issue. So for posting we use transaction MB1A here. See the Everything in SAP, every transaction data is related to some kind of movement type. So, what we are doing here, we are issuing material to a plant and that material belongs to vendor consignment. This means this material is a special stock. So, first I'll change my date, I'll put previous date here. My movement type will be 201. This movement type 201 is a common movement type for all kind of withdrawal. Okay. Now, because this material is a special in nature, a special stock, then we have to enter a special stock indicator also. So our special stock indicator will be K. So this what will happen after entering this case system will understand that this material is a vendor consignment material. Now press enter. As I entered K, it will ask me to enter a vendor. Suppose you have a one material and for one material you have a many, many consignees. Okay. You have one material from ABC industry, XYZ industry, CDS industry. So here we have to enter a vendor. And how much quantity you want to withdraw? Let's say I want to withdraw six only. And from where you want to withdraw? So I entered SP01 store location. I want to withdraw it. Okay. Now, if I post this document now, system will reduce this inventory from my stock. Let's say eight. I will draw eight. Okay. Now I saved it. What will happen on saving? System will reduce my stock by eight numbers and right? it will consider that this material has been issued to your vendor. So I like, will again check our stock position in MMB. That's the code for that. That's the code for that. Come again? No, that's the code you just put MMB. MMB. That's the code? Yeah, MMB. Okay, see, currently we have only two in a stock. Why? Because I already issued eight numbers to my user. Now, my lab payment liability starts now. So, in consignment, in a regular process, whenever you take receipt of material, your liability gets generated. While in vendor consignment, Receipt has no connection with your liability. Your liability will generate after material issue. Now, apart from this, in vendor consignment process, there is a one additional step. That step is called settlement. Okay. Why we need to settle all this record? Suppose you have a, so many different records. And some suppose I am a user. I am a store guy. I posted a few records. Okay. Suppose I had done by mistake or I committed any kind of mistake. So if I want use settlement process, then system will immediately 
increase by liability okay so <clears throat> settlement process we can say it is a control factor where settlement after material issue vendor uh, your store guy will settle that record it means that okay it is finally issued or it is confirmed that i have issued that material okay so for settlement we use transaction mrko okay in mrko you simply need not to enter anything you enter your plant and here you have two option processing display or you do you want to display the documents or you want to settle it so i first will display it so i entered plant and i'm executing it so it is saying that you have a these many documents pending for settlement see the info says it is not settled okay so not not i will do not i uh, now i'll do one thing mm, i'll set up only one document so i am going to directly enter this number this is my material issue voucher number so i am going to enter this number directly here and i am pros selecting processing option as settled now if i execute this function system will settle my all withdrawals and liability will be generated against me okay so i selected the settle now i'm going to execute it so that system can settle it now system has settled it how i know see if i execute if i want to check the accounting entries against this so simply select this document go to doc info click on fi document this is an accounting document so system has generated this doc accounting document see the consumption of raw material is debited by 80 euros while account payable payable means uh, this is a payable for me and receivable for your vendor okay account payable is my liability it means that we can in a simple word we can say that we need to pay this much amount to our vendor okay so all your payable all your payment liabilities will be either maybe in a one gen gl account or it may be a different gl account though it is a part of fi guys they decide that uh, where they want to keep their liabilities okay it means that account payable credited by 80 euros means the payability uh, liability has generated now okay so this was about the vendor consignment